Hello, we're at the trailhead for uh, Williams Lake, and uh, it was an interesting adventure to get here. Uh, we flew into Albuquerque last night, super late, slept in a hotel, and then uh, woke up today, had a nice breakfast, drove through Taos, uh, picked up some supplies, had some lunch here at Taos Ski Valley, uh, very delicious, at the Stray, Stray Dog Cantina, very delicious, we'll probably be back at the end. But right now it's about 4.30, it's a super late start. We have two miles to go, hoping to get to Williams Lake before dark. Um, the weather seems to be pretty nice. Uh, there have been talk of thunderstorms, but as of right now, it looks pretty good. So we are um, gonna get going. Uh, the trailhead looks to be just behind us, and um, come along. Hello, we uh, made it to Williams Lake. Nice little hike. Definitely the altitude um, was felt. We started about 10,000 feet, and we're at 11,000 feet now. So uh, as you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous view behind me with uh, uh, some snow back there, the lake, um, the sun is setting over there. We're setting up camp, but we found a really nice spot and uh, I'm really appreciative on our gear um, because we really have vetted it out over the years and we really have it down. Like the tent, a big Agnes tent is, is, is really, really cool. Uh, sets up pretty easily, spacious. It's a three person tent, it's very spacious for two people light enough about four pounds or so um, and so we're gonna cook dinner real soon let me give you a quick pano just behind me the PD is uh, setting up camp and uh, getting dinner ready and uh, we've seen some marmots let me turn around because if you're behind me it's a lot better uh, we've seen some marmots but uh, that's about it as far as wildlife um, pretty quiet out here not many tracks I think there's a lot of um, a lot of people use this trail. We saw some lot of day hikers. Um, haven't seen any tents up here yet, but uh, anyway, gonna make some dinner and enjoy our night. Brought some wine, brought some cards. Uh, gonna enjoy ourselves, and we'll see what uh, tomorrow holds. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are at Williams Lake. There's a sound we heard throughout the night and we kept thinking it was wind but I thought that's pretty constant for wind so this morning uh, in order to search for water I decided uh, let's go ahead and go to the waterfall so let's find let's see if there is a waterfall so hike a little bit and uh, we found it so this looks like a great place to get some water that's a beautiful morning uh, we actually woke up uh, when the sun hit our tent which is right at eight o'clock so uh, uh, pretty beautiful morning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you around a little bit. Show you a little bit of color here. Some color here. Beautiful uh, purple flowers. And then uh, show you stream. And if you can, see the valley. The sun coming up. So we had the whole valley uh, to ourselves last night, which was really nice. Um, but we did turn in a little early, and uh, I think what we're going to do is just uh, summit Wheeler Peak today, and that's pretty much it. Uh, still getting acclimated to the altitude, 11,000 feet, definitely can feel it. Um, we might even explore uh, La Calle Basin, um, we'll, just, we'll see, we'll play it by ear. But definitely are going to use Williams Lake as a base camp rather than uh, break it down every day and, and camp. Uh, because just the way the trail is situated, uh, it would make our last day too long. So what we wanted to do is make sure our last day is pretty short so we can get back to civilization and uh, make sure we hit our flight on time no matter what. So I'm going to get some water, go back, make some breakfast, and uh, enjoy the day. Hello. We're at the top of New Mexico right now. Uh, what an awesome experience. Uh, saw some bighorn sheep, which, you know, in San Diego, they're pretty hard to, to spot, but they're all over here. Uh, met a lot of nice people on the way up, a lot of people coming down. Behind me, what a view. Just going to do a quick pan out. PD behind me. Got a Native American friend we made on the trail. He's coming up on the ridge behind us. And uh, down below me, behind me, a little bit of... Towski Valley and Williams Lake and uh, wow pretty awesome 
pretty awesome totally worth it um, very steep on the way up definitely sucking wind uh, the way back down uh, hopefully will be a little bit more uh, enjoyable but I mean, overall it's been awesome yeah the weather's beautiful uh, if you do look behind me you do see some weather coming in so as long as we have this gusty wind coming from the uh, southwest it's okay but if that dies down I think this is going to start to encroach so we are definitely going to uh, make our way down as soon as possible well I believe this is our last night here um, we've decided to head out tomorrow which is Saturday and uh, to go look for some fishing uh, looking for some place to camp one more night but uh, not here so uh, heading back to somewhat of a civilization um, but we're gonna see what else we could experience before we leave so um, we heard from some people coming up that there may be a storm tonight or tomorrow morning and uh, as you can see behind me there's a big cloud coming in and uh, the lakes behind me too still in the Sun so uh, Looks like tonight we have this side of the lake to ourselves. Uh, there's one more family on the other side there uh, camping, but uh, definitely a very peaceful place. A lot of day hikers, so a lot of dogs. Um, it's been great, so uh, we're gonna have a nice sleep tonight, hopefully, and uh, head on out tomorrow morning.